Joining us now over the phone is Robert Gauguin. He is the Member of Parliament for the area, and I understand uh, he's just arrived in Moncton from Ottawa. So, Mr. Gauguin, uh, what have you been told? Well, in essence, all forces have been mobilized. Uh, there's been a perimeter that's been formed, and all efforts are being deployed to uh, contain uh, the area where this gentleman has been identified. And I use the term gentleman very loosely after the events that have happened. What is your initial reaction when you heard this happen? Were you in Ottawa yesterday? I was in Ottawa, yes. Uh, in, in essence, I was sitting down to read some materials when I learned through the Facebook uh, that uh, three uh, officers had been killed, others wounded. And in essence, it was complete shock and disbelief. I mean, uh, New Brunswick and Moncton in particular is a very peaceful area. It's, it's a common to have shootings, whether it be of police officers or citizens. So this comes as a complete shock, I think, to myself and to most citizens who are in an utmost side where we have a person running around who's armed and dangerous. Almost uh, 24 hours into this now. Well, uh, this apparently this gentleman has some sort of a plan. He's dressed in camo. I mean, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's a certain, I guess, price to pay. The ultimate price has been paid by the police officers who are also peace officers. And most of the time, the police officers in Moncton do exactly that. They keep the peace. But in this instance, they pay the ultimate price. They've laid down their lives to try to keep the peace. And now, as in the case of D-Day, which is tomorrow, if you believe, another generation of, of young men laid down their lives, and waves and waves of them were mowed down, and others took up the fight, and that's what's taken here. 300, police for it. 300 policemen are mobilized to contain and apprehend this, this, this fellow and bring him to the full extent of what the law can provide. What sort of emotions have you been going through? I know your family lives in Moncton and you have plenty of friends there as well as you represent the riding. Well, it, it's, it's absolute shock. And, I mean, again, uh, there, you know, there's, an, there's a high level of anxiety. I mean, some people have packed up their pets, their children, uh, food supply, and gone off to live somewhere else because they can't return to their home. They can't go through the perimeter, and that's understandable. They're not going to disrupt the RCMP and other police forces' abilities to try to, you know, contain this uh, this accused, or I should say this perpetrator, and um, they're cooperating to the full extent that they can, but there is a disruption in their lifestyle. Businesses have been shut down, and obviously we have to reach out to the members of the police force who are acting, also the families of those who have lost loved ones and their co-workers, and give them a big hug and certainly all our support after the fact. I mean, this will come to a successful end. The RCMP always does get his man and uh, the full extent of the law will be put in action to bring this to a conclusion. But as you say, so many people uh, in lockdown, some of them in their basements, refusing to get out of their basements. What would you say to those residents right now? Stay inside, follow the instructions. I know there are some seniors that this must put at a, at a great disadvantage, but this will come to a conclusion. The forces have been mobilized, and uh, again, uh, staying out of the way of the police and permitting them to do their capable work uh, will be the, the result that we want to attain. And what will you be able to do while in Moncton now? Well, in essence, I'll be available to communicate back and forth with Ottawa as need be and to, to be a liaison when that is necessary. But at this point in time, I believe, uh, I think the RCMP have the situation well in hand, although it's not quite yet resolved. All right. Well, we do appreciate your time and uh, we wish you all the best there. Thank you. Thank you so much.